Okay, so guys, first thing, we're going to import some of these motion files in. Okay, so I've downloaded some onto my desktop already. Um, so I've got four or five of them. So you need to go into the H drive and locate those. So we're going to file, motion file import. Um, I'm going to import these in. Into, they come in. This takes a little bit of time to bring them in. And we have a little man here on, the, on our desktop here now. And if I hit play, it will actually do its action. Okay. And if I hit, there's heaps of different uh, takes here. So you have all the takes down here, so different actions for every, every single person there. Now, next thing, what we need to do is we need to attach a character to it. So I'm going to go down into characters here on our asset browser. And I'm going to drag up into this. I'm going to drag a character up, which now appears in here. So we're going to define this character now. So I'm going to click on character definition. And we're going to add in, if I go into our scene up here, we can open that up by clicking the plus and BVH reference. We're going to right click on that and expand branch. So what that does, it actually brings up all the all the parts of this skeleton. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're going to drag these down into our base, this base section here, which is all the required parts. So I'll start just dragging these in now. BVH ships, left up leg. left leg left foot right up leg Okay, so once we've done all that, we've actually located all these across. We can then go ahead and we're going to actually characterize that by clicking on the characterize and we're going to create a biped. We have to create a control rig. Create a control rig, F K I K. Okay, now if I hit play there, nothing actually happens yet. So what we have to do, we have to bake that plot onto the control rig. Bake plot. Oh, I'm actually going to turn control rig off and bake plot to control rig and we're going to click on the little button plot all takes and now we've got our first part done okay guys now uh, now that we've got our animation down and our BVH files attached to a rig what the next step is, is we're going to start motion blending this together. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to actually unselect uh, the control rig into, to make it go back to the uh, this standard pose here. I'm going to go in and I'm just going to drag a box around this to get in a little bit closer. Press F to frame it. Then what we're going to do, we're going to actually go in and look at motion uh, blend. So we bring up the motion blend tool and we have a looking at that. Now, what we want to do, we want to go in and actually hold, hold down the Alt button and drag it up into the timeline. And what we've got here now, we've got our different takes. Okay, so we've got all the different takes here. So, and this is where we blend it. Now, you would have seen a blue thing appear behind, which is the ghost of of the movement. Okay, so I'm just going to insert a couple more tracks in here. 
of all the different uh, uh, files, I suppose. Now, um, what we can actually do, we can actually now select the different takes and we're going to blend all these together eventually. So we need to align them and position them and all that sort of stuff. Okay, now you can sort of see here, over here, we can hold down the shift button and we can shift along our timeline like this. If you hold down the control button, you can make it smaller by clicking and dragging left and right. Okay, now I'm just going to hit reset all cuts so that the blue bit up here is what we're actually using. Okay, so I'm just going to hit the shift button and drag across because we're not going to use all that. I'm actually going to so hold down the control button and I'm going to zoom out to get all of that motion because I'm not going to use all of that and I might just bring that back to about there. Okay, and then I'll z control and zoom back in onto this area. Okay, now we can actually hold down the letter T and then we can time shift some of these, okay? So we're going to drag, hold down the letter T and I'm just going to click on that and drag that across. Now we can sort of see down here, this thing means it's starting to blend the motion together. Okay, I'll go and shift the letter T across here and we'll put that around there. And this last one, we'll move this one across into this area here. So we've got three blends happening here. Now I'm going to hit down here at the uh, the result and have a look at what is actually happening here. I'm going to turn the other ghosts off for now to show you what's actually happening here. And so we can see he starts out in his pose, he's walking, and then he does his walk, and then he jumps, I think, or he's turning, doing a jump. Then he's doing his run and this one here, he's doing some sort of act here. Okay, now, um, so we've blended all those together successfully. Okay guys, now the next thing we want to do, we want to apply the character to this current yellow little character here. So basically what we need to do, we need to import in uh, our character. So I'm just going to go in and actually grab my character, drag him up, put him in there, FBX, FBX merge no animation that comes in so now we've got our character here but he still won't we need to put him onto our source so we've got our source and we'll go down to character one okay um, and let's see what happens here uh, nothing happens yet um, so we have to go in uh, character one sorry needs to be controlled by the character yep there we go so we've got that sorted out now. So then what we can do, we can actually go ahead and that will actually do everything we need. So I'm just going to go view, frame all. Let's go out here and let's have a look at this. So he will do his thing. And he is now blended in, which is pretty awesome. Okay. All right. Now what we've got to do, let's go file, save as. I might just save that as mocap 4. Save that in. Save that and... Okay, you want to delete out the light first and then we're going to go into selecting just the, the character by itself. We want to go across, but first we want to go down and actually process and you want to hit plot translation you want to make sure that tick box is off. Now we send across as a new scene to 3ds Max. You want to go up to the modifier and actually turn off the helpers. And then you go ahead and once that's working you can then go ahead and actually put the scenery in.